Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you for taking the time to click on this video and spend time with me. So in this video I will be doing the look I am right now. So a classic wing with the lashes, nude matte lip. You can either go out like this so you can stay in. Today I'm staying in, I'm going to be wearing my glasses, just chilling out on the sofa. So thank you very much for joining me and stay tuned to see how to achieve this look. I've already prepped and primed my face with my normal moisturiser and primer which I use in every single video so you know so I'm gonna go with a dewy look today just a nice natural dewy skin bit of contour and then wing and lashes so nothing major so I'm just gonna start off with let me see it is a little bit darker than I usually go for but because I use a nice white highlighter under the eyes it does lighten it up so don't criticize me for using that i'll look orange to begin with so this is fit me dewy and smooth and it's a new one they've just brought out if you can see it's just not focusing is it okay and that's in shade 125 nude beige like i say it's a lot darker than what i go for so shaking it up first a little tip about moisturising, put it on about 20-25 minutes before you put anything else onto your skin. Just lets it all settle in nice and it just it, it benefits your skin more. So I'm just going to tip a little bit out onto the back of my hand and just squash it all over with a foundation brush. It's going to be dark, do not judge. putting it everywhere including the eyelid just get a nice base blending down your neck do not forget that and then you've got a nice cover use a damp beauty blender or technique sponge and just go over that very lightly dabbing just to create a more flawless look try not to smear or drag the product just dab it Dab, dab, dab. <laughs> but once you've got that all nice and patted in, if you've got any product left and there's any problem areas, like I say, mine's around my nose, and sometimes underneath my eyes, I feel still look a bit dark where my freckles are. I like just to go over that, so we'll do that now. My nose takes some right covering for some reason. So now that's all on and blended in nicely. I'm gonna go on with a little bit of contour and highlight. So I found to use these best when they're blended together, not on the wrong. This is too light, this is too dark, so I like to take blend them and obviously they're the ones I use every single time. LA Girl Pro Conceal, that's the white shade. So what I'm going to do today is mix it on my hand and then apply it to my face. So just squeezing some out. Some people find it easier to take the applicator off and squeeze it out of the tube. But you can never go back from that so I don't want to. <laughs> so I've got a nice little mix there. And I'm going to use the white applicator just to blend that in a little bit. So the colours meld together. Then you can decide if you want to add more, a bit more white, which I think I do. Yeah, lovely, lovely colour. Grab the Beauty Blender again and I'm just going to paint it on from whatever's left on here so we don't waste any product. Just slap it on. You can take some from your hand and go wherever you want to highlight. So under the eyes under the cheekbone area and I'm running out a little bit on the end of the nose and just down the centre small area on the chin and just in the centre of the forehead and it's gone spread it out a little bit so I just need to blend that in 
Make sure your sponge is damp. Don't do this with a dry sponge. It does not look good. As you can see, it's lighting my foundation a great deal. So it doesn't matter if you've got a couple of shades darker. So this is how you get a little bit lighter. You can also mix in the white with a foundation. Mix it in like I did on my hand. If you've got a very dark foundation, <coughs> excuse me. And then you can apply that. It just lightens it up. So as you can see, we've highlighted in the areas. Now it's time for contouring. So I'm going to use the Pro Conceal again in the darker shade. And I'm just going to pop that onto the Beauty Blender. It's just a different way to pop it on your face. To try different techniques. Some don't work for everyone. So going right under the cheekbone. And again. Tap it around the bottom of the face. And I'm not going to do this technique for the nose. So we just need to take a little bit of that product and place it around the forehead. So it looks a little bit smaller and down the sides of the face. And just need to blend that in. powder and I thought I carried on recording but I didn't so I've just been popping it in the loose translucent powder the Laura Mercier powder using the edge side of a beauty blender <clears throat> and just popping it underneath the eyes just pressing it in ever so lightly I can't believe I did that and then I just take a little bit everywhere else just a small amount because I don't like transfer I don't like the tacky feeling and I'm sure my boyfriend doesn't like it all over his clothes when I give him a love so I just like to mattify my entire face. I just think it looks better than creasy and greasy. I know it's a very glowy foundation I have put on, but you can still do this. You can still mattify it a little bit. The shine does still come through, but I just think it's a bit more of a natural foundation what I've used. So yeah, don't forget to cut underneath the contour with the powder, just cut under there. I've already done it and I thought I'd shown you, but I didn't. So yes, let's just tap that all in, and that's the powder done. I did find it in the end, as you can see. It's a friggin' bomb foundation. It just goes everywhere. Like I was saying earlier, before I cut you off, a loose powder is much better than a compact. I don't think a compact gives a much flawless coverage. I think a compact is just to diminish the shine. This is to set your whole face and it's wonderful. It's the package here. So now it's time for the powder. Oh, I hate the product on my hands. Ugh. The powder contour. So I have the same contour powder every single time. I just think it's great. Fluffy brush. Dab, dab, dab. Just gonna pop that on trying to cut down my videos for you because I think it can put people off seeing a video like 40 minutes long who wants to sit and waste a day 40 minutes watching me I don't think anybody wants to do that apart from my mother <laughs> so yeah, I'm just trying to cut bits out that aren't important that you don't really need to see like I could be cutting this out but I'm just going to explain this for you I feel like I'm rushing a little bit so don't forget under that chin just having a lazy day today One of those days where you think I'm not getting dressed, I'm not going out. I'm just going to be a lazy fool. I've got a week off work, so I can be making a few more videos. I just, I want some ideas. Give me some ideas. What do you want to see? Let me know in the comments what, what would the next video you'd like to see. So I'm taking a dark shade, just to cut it a little bit more. So that's just popping it in there. Underneath the cheekbone. I'm blending it out. I've just popped that on. I'm just blending it in now for you. And then up some underneath the jawline just to sharpen it up. And lastly, we just need to highlight. So I'm using the same fan brush, same highlight as I just said. Kind of went a little wonky, so I had to sort that out. 
just popping that above contour so it looks like we've got some very sharp cheekbones like whoa look at those cheekbones girl you go as crazy as you want with this and then I like to take a little bit on my finger on my button my sister loves this little tip and then just uh, not too heavy don't use too heavy a pressure on a finger because you can rub out what we did earlier I found out yesterday go real light and then pop some in the inner corners to brighten your eye up a little bit oh yes and some people like to pop some on the chin or some in the forehead just for that extra glow but I'm feeling what I'm done so far I don't want to add any more perhaps just underneath the eyebrow bone and if you're wondering what products on my eyebrows because obviously these aren't real I've, I've used a product it's brand new called Wonderbrow I'm sure everybody's heard of it I've had it for about four or five days and I will be doing a review on that soon because it's pretty good it looks quite natural I think but I still like to go over it with an eyebrow pencil when you put foundation on it clings to the hair sometimes and it just looks a little bit dirty so I'll just be going over a little bit with a pencil I'm thinking of changing the shape of my eyebrows I think, I think arches are out and I think the softer looks come back in I don't know I'm stuck in my ways I like a good arch, good pointy arch. Abra's on mm. fleek. Yes, it makes you look freaking fierce. Yes, yes, yes. My lips are so dry these days. I don't. I think it's the weather or the aircon at work. So I'm using a lot of Vaseline, like five times a day, just to try and re-moisturize that. So going on to the eyes, like I said, I think we're just going to do a classic wing and some lashes. So we still need to throw down a base shade. So let's find our base shade. Just taking out any part you've got that's got some brown, some taupes in it, some lighter colours. You can get in them. Thank you. And a big fluffy brush. I'm waiting on some new brushes. I'm finally getting some new brushes, but they may take a while to come. I'm having problems with the frigging delivery. So I'm just going to take this skin coloured, like taupey colour, just for my crease. I don't want anything too dark because it's going to be quite a nude eye. Oh, it's that dark there. We all know how to do this, but I'm just gonna show you how to be putting very light, minimal makeup on your eyes, and it still creates sort of impact. Nothing too drastic. <laughs> Blending upwards. Small circular motions if you can. Sorry about the incessant chewing. I just fancied a nice tasting my mouth. So I do need some ideas. I'm running out of ideas. What looks would you like me to do? I think I'm gonna do a classic heavy smoky eye. Do you know the, the, the silvers and the blacks one day? That's always been my favorite, but just have a minute. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling too dark. I'm just feeling lights. So that side seems to be a little bit darker. Let me just let me just blend it with my finger. So I'll just take a little bit more on this side. I cannot wait for these new brushes. I am so excited. So I've got a week off, so videos, videos. Yes, boy. So just throwing that colour in the crease. I think I'm going to leave it there for the colours on the lid. Now I'm going to do a, I'm going to try to do a nice little wing. Nothing too hectic or crazy because 
when I get into that mode, that's when it goes wrong. So I need a mirror of some kind because I know I don't do these on, on camera very well. <laughs> it's the pressure. Now it'd help if I could get into it. Let me just, okay, okay, okay. So any felt tip liner will do. Anything that's got a nice tip to it, tip it. Oh, here goes. What's this? What's this mess? Okay. I'm being quiet because I'm contemplating. So you just need to look down into a mirror, try not to close your eyes, I know that's always been a bad habit of mine, looking down, keeping your eye open and just gently pressing the liner flat onto the lash line and seeing where you want to go with it. So once I get, let me just bring you in, once I get a, a line that I like, I'm going to leave it there, do the other side and then we'll do the wing. This is the tricky part because I can't, boobs are in the way so friggin hard oh this is where it goes wrong whoa tickles you can go as far in as you want if you're a beginner best to start halfway and there's always one that looks friggin better and it's this one so I'm just gonna go and make sure they're the same this is when the video starts to get real long so yes that looks perfect to me perfect as it's gonna get so we just need to do the flick which is, I'm scared, I'm scared. So what's the tip is, what the tip is, you're meant to follow the underneath line of your eye upwards and you just carry on drawing up. I have quite small eyes, so it, it's scary. So I'm just going to do the other side. Hoping that they're even. Pretty good. So now that the baseline's drawn, we need to kind of connect it, make it a little thicker. I like to shut my eye. And just join that over. Just a simple, nothing too crazy. And the same on this side. I'm shaking now. Just neaten that up. And then once you've got the base done, you can always make your wing bigger. I'm not even going to fanny about anymore. That is how it's going to be. Simple. That one looks so much worse. Jesus. Well, you won't be able to see the imperfections as much when we've got lashes on. It's not too bad. I've done worse. Now to find the lid. Just curl my eyelashes and placing on some mascara. Volume Colorist Rimmel London just tints them a little bit. My favourite, it's like a fan, a fanned out look. I pull some stupid faces. 
Oh, and now it's on my lid. I'm just going to do the other eye. Okay, so I've put mascara on. I think I'm going to throw on some fake lashes and I'm just going to try out these new ones I've bought. They're kind of voluminous and they just look very thick. So if they don't work, I'll just put some old ones on. I just want to try these out real bad. <laughs> so I'm just going to take them off, cut them down to size and bend them and then I'll put them back on with you guys. Well, I'll try. So I'll not be a second. Okay, so I've put one on to see how it looks, to see how it goes on. They go on not great because they are not real hair. They're like synthetic lashes. They're not the top standards. But I think they look pretty good. So I'm going to try my best to put this one on with you. I don't know how it's going to go because I have to get so close to my mirror. So I'll be using Isla Lash Glue. It's not great, but... It's what I've got. Applicator, you just need to put a thin layer on the edge of the lash. I like to put it in a couple of directions just because then you're covered. So a little bit on the inside, a little bit on the outside. This one's not 100% dry yet. And I'm quite impatient, so I think that's why they don't go on great because I don't wait till they dry properly. That'll do. That'll do. So you need to just pop it on the lash like that and keep it bent and hold it in place for about 30 seconds to let it dry. I'll try my best. Okay. Okay, it's been about 20 seconds now. Just holding it into that curved position. And then the way that I do it, and on camera is going to be different to how I do it in the mirror because I need to get real close. But on camera, this is also another way. So you just take hold of the lash and you just need to drop it on top. In the centre. And pull the corners into place. You just have to be patient and persistent and just hope you don't glue your eyeballs shut. Let it set. Just open your eye to make sure it's on there. on see I did it how proud so I think these look really good these eyelashes and they remind me a lot of the Coco Queen Bee ones very feathery it's a little bit more onto the outside this one so I think what I'm gonna do is just take this one off because it's too far to the edge than this one just place it closer to the inner corner Okay, so I've just replaced it using that same method so now they look a little bit more even. These are now my new favourite eyelashes. You'll be seeing them all the time. Oh yes. So sparse, but thick and dense. You just, they look like the very expensive brand ones. Now you can leave it here. It's just a simple look with the wing and the lashes. Or you can create a little bit of drama underneath. I don't normally go out like this. I normally have to have something underneath. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I think I'm going to take my nude eyeliner, which is, I use it all the time. Why do, have you know, why do I go up at the end of every word? It's so weird. It's Exaggerate Rimmel London Waterproof Eye Definer, and it's in nude. The, the nudes are more expensive than the whites. I don't, I have no idea why. So just going to pop that in the waterline, waterline, it's going to be quite a long video as per fucking usual, I need to work on it, any tips I'll just shorten them down, I'll just start waffling on, perhaps I should just do talk overs, so I'm not as chatty, what do you think, what do you think, 
so I'm just going to use I think some of the contouring powder with a short stubby brush an eye brush and just put a little bit on the outer corners of my eye just for a little deficiency just a tiny amount nothing too much nothing too crazy then I'm just gonna throw on a little bit of mascara on my bottom lashes and we are done with the eyes I think I spend mo most of my time on the eyes, so if I need to cut some of this out in the future, that's it. That's the eyes. Lips. I only want a nude lip. A nude, nude lip. Let me see. Okay, this is very tiny now. I, can't, I don't even think I can see what it was. I think it was a Rimmel London and it's in the colour Tiramisu. This is a lip liner. So I think I'm just going to use this. It goes on so much smoother when you've got Vaseline on or a lip balm. Just pop that everywhere. like a coffee colour then I'm going to go over with a light it's called matte me ultra smooth matte lip cream and it's by sleek I think sleek makeup yeah sleek I don't like the formula so I'm just going to use a small amount tap it on use my finger a little more yeah I don't just whack this on and leave it because it dries cracking it's just it's not the best formula to use especially on dry lips so just let that dry a little bit So my video got cut off there guys, that is pretty much the finished look, after applying the lipstick I let that dry and pat a small amount of the translucent powder over the top just to mattify that and keep it on longer. Thank you very much for watching this video, please like and subscribe and share with all your friends, please check in again in a couple of days, thank you, bye.